Hi there guys, Gentle Pet here, and today I wanted to show you how to import texture packs, skins, and maps into Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now this guide is just for the iOS version, so if you have Android, sorry I don't have a guide for that yet. So first thing you want to do is guide your browser to www.macroplanet.com forward slash iExplorer. And um, I'll put a link in the description to make it easier for you guys, but first thing you want to do is uh, download your version, which I am on uh, Windows. There's also a Mac version. And then uh, once it's down and downloading, let's go ahead and install it. All right, so once you have that installed, you go ahead and just gonna just do this right here. Do continue in demo mode, that's fine. So what we're gonna do now is connect our iDevice. And you just basically hook it up to your computer. Whenever you download a map, it's gonna look like this. And it's gonna be in a folder, so it's usually really easy to install. What we're gonna do is go over back into this. And we're gonna go up to uh, apps right here. And then we're gonna scroll down to Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's right here, double click that. And then we're gonna go into Documents and then games and then commoging minecraft worlds all right and you'll see a list of all the different maps you already have all the worlds and that's what this is so there you go right there and there it is i just go into play and see survival games is there this is what the map looks like that i just downloaded so as you see it works really well. Wow, this is this looks kind of cool. I might have to do a review on this. So for skins, I usually go to Planet Minecraft because they usually have a pretty good search on stuff and they have a lot of variety. And let's just look and see what's popular real quick. Let's go to most popular. And I think that's a guy from Yogscast or something. Um, let's do... All right, let's do this, uh, this Fax Pure DB whatever. And you go to download skin. It's going to download into your download folder. So go ahead and go show in folder like that. And then once you're there, go ahead and I need to get rid of this any other car.pnzs are in there. I'm going to click on it and rename it to just C H A R. And usually it's a PNG file, so you don't have to change that. So after you've done that, see there it is right there. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go back to uh, apps. It should still be there for you. I had to unplug it to hook up my cap card for my uh, pocket edition. So I could uh, record that. So now we're going to go to, instead of uh, documents, so you may want to back out to this, go to Minecraft app, Minecraft PE app like that. And then there's going to be a huge list of stuff. And this is where you want to put your skin. Okay, so... Unfortunately, uh, right now, the way things are, see, it's going to ask to overwrite, say okay, it's fine. All right, so I want to go in and try to see if it worked. But the way it works now is anybody that you see will have the same skin as you. So unfortunately, you know, it won't change person to person yet. All right, so whenever you change your skin or texture pack, make sure and close Minecraft Pocket Edition. And we're going to open it back up. And then we're going to go into play and survival games. And if you see right there, we've got a zombie hand. And let me go back to third person real quick. You can't see the front of me just because of the way the game's designed. All right, so once you download a texture pack, we're going to do a similar thing. So we'll just take all this stuff and I'm just going to left click and then shift left. And then I'm just going to drag it all at one time so we'll go and drop it in here and it's gonna say do you want to replace this yes it looks like we're done all right so after all those little boxes pop up that keep saying okay 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 that means you're replacing another file you should be good but that looks fine okay so now we're gonna go into play here go back to survival games see the background is different everything is different Including my skin to replace that skin. Oh god, no! Ah! Oh, I'm alive. Cool. And let me just get this off of third person so you can. There we go. See, the texture pack's completely different. See, the sheep looks different. The wood looks different. The wool looks different. I don't know if that's wool or. Uh, 
I don't know. But the crafting bench, or now that's a chest. Everything looks different. So there you go. That's how you do a texture pack and also the skins and all that stuff. All right, you guys. Hopefully you found this helpful. Make sure and leave a like if you liked it. And make sure and leave a comment if you have any questions. And thanks for watching, you guys. Y'all have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Skizzle! Find a map that's good, Jojo. I want a good map. Mm.